15 seconds. Not bad. Yeah, but a lot can happen in 15 seconds, Blair. We need to be able to get to that nursery from any room in the house in 10 seconds tops. True, true. It's all right. We'll get better. We'll, we'll tighten all that right. down. No all worries. Right. That's fine. <sighs> baby, do you think it was a good idea for us to find out the sex of the baby before she was born? Oh, absolutely. I read somewhere that referring to our little girl as she while mm -hmm. she's still in the womb helps us to see her for who she really is. Got it. Mm -hmm. You know what else I read? What? Eating bacon and eggs actually boosts your baby's intelligence. Really? Mm-hmm. But don't you have to put it in a blender or something? Mm -mm. Oh, you talking about you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, baby. Mm. What a Christmas, huh? What a Christmas. Our baby girl. Oh, my God. What? Christmas. I'm so, so behind on Christmas. We still have to decorate our tree. I still got to go grocery shop, and I haven't <sighs> bought you a gift. Baby, I haven't baby, bought... baby, 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 don't worry. All I need for Christmas is our baby girl. Yeah, but I doubt she'll be born on Christmas. First babies are always late. True. Mm. In the meantime, yeah. do you want to work on our time? Yes. You know, this place has become my favorite getaway. Yeah? Oh, God. Well, let me tell you something. This place likes you, too. <laughs> so do I. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe that you've been, what, you've been tucked away here. What? In the mountains and I've only been an hour away? Let me tell you something. It was not an accident that I came home last year for Christmas. Mm. We were meant to be reunited. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Even if you are still a better tennis player than I am. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? what? You got me on the swimming. Ooh, that butterfly. Yeah, mm. I got to admit, I do. <laughs> I do. And what about red hot yoga? Now, I'm oh. not too bad at that for a newbie, am I? Yeah, you tried, honey. And I ever did. the adventure. Yeah. Speaking of which, I cannot believe that you are leaving before Christmas. Why stay? You know, I can bake. You know that you want to yeah. sing those carols with me and wrap my presents <laughs> and put up the tree. Baby, what? hey, huh. duty calls. All right, all right. Huh. How about some hot cocoa? Love it. Okay. You do understand that my work is the most important thing. You know, last year, hmm. I was in this little tiny village in Honduras and the looks on the faces of those families. When my colleagues and I, we gave them fresh drinking water and hot meals. Mm. And I will never forget, there was this beautiful little girl who was crying incessantly because her mother was sick and she knew she was gonna spend Christmas all on her own. Mm. So what do we do? We gave her mama medical attention and we sent her home to her daughter just in time for Christmas. Right, now that, if you look around you, that, is what life is about. And that's why I do what I do. And what an amazing feeling that is. <laughs> so beautiful here. It's gorgeous. Ooh, I can't wait to build this fire with you. <laughs> it's gonna be hot. Be careful. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Yeah. Goodness, oh. You know, Larry, I really, really admire your biceps. I mean your benevolence. I mean your benevolence. I can't imagine being away from my family. Oh, excuse me, just a second, just what? a second, what are you doing? just a second. One second. Oh my goodness, I forgot I was supposed to meet my sisters to decorate the tree and try on our sweaters. I'll be back. What? I'll be back. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Hey. No, I know. Tomorrow, traditions, I got it. No, come back. What about the hot chocolate? Yeah, he's a little grinchy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think he's regretting the decision that he made to sell the store and retire. All he does is sit around all day and grunt. Yeah. Watch. Honey, would you like to come and help us with the Christmas tree? Mm. Oh. Now, this is going to just stop. This is Christmas for crying out loud. Donald Brooks, I want you to get off this couch and slap a smile on your face. Being a grumpy butt during Christmas is a no-no, and you know it. Do you understand me? Christmas police. Anybody needs me, yeah. Hey, who am I kidding? Nobody needs me. Oh, oh, 
Myra. He needs something to do. I mean, why won't you just march to the little hardwood store and say, y'all want to unretire? Really, Elizabeth? You can't just unretire. Well, the new owners have already taken over the story. <sighs> Don't you just loathe new people? I mean, take my job, for instance. I mean, I'm offered this promotion. Regional sales, sales manager. Sales director. Mm -hmm. Regional sales manager. Whatever. Well, did I tell you about my competition? It's this new guy. His name is Brent Hackman. Oh, he's just a power-driven, money-hungry little snot. You know, he has no scruples. I bet you he doesn't even know how to spell the word scruples. Well, that's funny. I didn't know the cosmetic industry was so cutthroat. Right. You sell some lipstick, you sell some perfume, you go home, you repeat. What? What is, what is it? It's a billion-dollar industry. <sighs> okay, and it's very competitive. And my boss, Wilhelmina LeClaire, she does not play that. She is a, a think-like-a-man boss chick. I mean, I, I just can't help but love the woman. You know what? Don't worry about it, sis. You're very good at what you do. You'll get the promotion. Pass me the garland there, somebody. Here. It's not about being good, Stephanie. I need to be, like, bold, and I need to be edgy, and I need to be a boss like a man. Well, we know that I can't be a man, but I'm just saying. Oh. Do what you gotta do, baby girl. But remember one thing. Scruples is spelled S-C-R-U-P-L-E-S. -E Scruples. Right. I gotta take this. Wait. Hello? Wilhelmina. Get on the phone. Not busy. Not busy at all. Yes, you are. First, Donald, now Elizabeth. Who else is gonna try to steal Christmas from us? Not us, baby. <laughs> Definitely not <laughs> us. <laughs> 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 Welcome home, Blair. <laughs> Blair, this is my first cousin, Gavin. Gavin, this is Marcy's husband, Blair. Good to meet you. Thanks for inviting us to um, work out. <laughs> you guys ready to go get shredded? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Shredded. Uh, if I wanted to torture myself, I'd get it just gun shopping with the ladies. Come on, Duck. Work off some of that frustration. What frustration? I'm already said you're sitting around the house grunting and getting fat. Oops. She probably didn't want me to repeat that. <laughs> hey, listen, even if you don't get cut up, at least you and I get a chance to hang out. It's been so long. Ah, what's it been, four years? Yeah. yeah. Gavin just moved back to take over the orphanage downtown. Really? And that's cool. Congrats, man. Thank you, buddy. Oh, listen, now that I'm back, you and I get a chance to work out every day, cousin. Oh. <laughs> Good. Check this out. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Every day. Every day. We're gonna get you back. Every day. Yes, no. <gasps> oh, how cute. Oh, baby. Hey, you guys. Elizabeth can't make it. Oh, she's got some big powwow with her woman crush, Wilhelmina. Oh, well, that figures. Anyway, I'm almost done with my Christmas shopping. I want you to know I only have two more gifts to get. How about you guys? Uh, yeah, yeah, me too. Fibbers, <laughs> I know you both just got started, am I right? Well, guess what, Mother? I've been a little busy. What with bringing a life into the world <laughs> and all. You yeah, my <laughs> baby. Yeah, I've been kind of busy myself. Do what? what? Myra, you're retired. You know what? It must be hard work sitting around doing nothing. Nick I and Donald's retired. I mean, what could you possibly <laughs> have to do? <laughs> She has always been dramatic. Pay her no mind, sweetheart. They say pregnant women are emotional. Yeah, honey, how much is this? It's weird, you know? <laughs> For 20 years, you get up at the crack of dawn, drive 22 miles, jiggle that lock into the door, finally open, step inside, and see all oh, that beautiful hardware. Ladders, sanders, hammers, drywall, paint. Duck, we get it. <laughs> and look at me now, useless as a brush to a ball headed man. <laughs> Tossed to the side, kicked to the curb. Uncle Duck. Oh, uh huh. We get it. Now, oh, you oh, get oh, it. Oh, 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 Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Hey! <laughs> good, 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 good. You okay, son? Yeah, I'm good. No. Oh, Mom, please, can I drive? What? Yeah, uh, ever since I got pregnant, Blair's been waiting on me hand and foot, driving me around everywhere. Just. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, come on, Mom, please. Anyway, you need to focus on Myra. Look at her. You're right. Myra? Myra? Hi, you okay, babe. Please. 
Mother, do you have the address to the new mall? I check out my favorite suite. Oh. Myra, listen, whatever I said to you, if I hurt your feelings, I'm sorry. You know me, I my big mouth. Yeah, well, you do have a big mouth. Oh, but, 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 but no, Steph, it's not you. You remember when Don retired from the hardware store and I made the decision to retire from teaching. We were so excited. We had all of these grandiose plans to do some very adventurous stuff, go skydiving and travel the world and do some line dancing. Uh, just line dancing. Hush, Marcy. Oh, you're serious? Anyway, all we do is just sit around and feel old and useless. Well, Mari, you are not useless. See, and then, and then our only daughter is off living her life. She doesn't need us. Nobody needs us. I need you. I need you. You know, while Elizabeth's out there doing this promotion thingy, no one can make crust for peach cobbler better than you for Christmas. And didn't you say you were going to crochet some blankets for the baby? Oh, my goodness. Is anybody else hot? No. no. Oh. You know, Donald, some people get a totally new lease on life after they retire. Life changes can be good for you, brother. Mm. Working at the orphanage, for instance, made me a better man. You should come down and help out. Want to change my life? These two right here. Look. She's so pretty. And just like her mother. It's the baby. Hey, look, I gotta go. Time for our doctor's appointment. What should I do with this? Keep it, I got plenty. I'll see you guys later, all right? <laughs> it's the freaking holidays, people, and our sales are embarrassing and pitiful. Now, I promised my great Aunt Bologna on her deathbed that I would keep this company alive. Now, get out there and get some sales. You are never late. Oh. You're always on time, Brent. Bring it in. Now, thanks to this fine specimen of a man, we have had a banner year. And he's only been here three months. That means the rest of you deadbeats have not been pulling your weight. Leave me. I would like to add something, Wilhelmina. Now, I am this close to landing that independent retailer in Alpharetta. They're moving a lot of product, and I think- Mommy! Will you close them, Elizabeth, okay? Okay. Got it. Got it. <laughs> now go. Now! Always be on you. <laughs> always, always. <laughs> Dead beans. I like that. Doctors just late in the pregnancy. Oh, yeah. Our other doctor was a little too medical. You don't understand people like us. We're not your average parents, Blair. True. And would you calm down? I'm calm. I'm relax. Just... Hey, relax. Okay, relax. All right. Listen, we can't be led around by the nose. Right. Right? All right. We're planners, go getters. We understand that perfect children don't just happen, they are planned, molded, created. Yes. But does this other guy get that? Absolutely. Blair, Wally is a genius. But according to his website, 75% of the babies that he's delivered have gone on to graduate college. And get this, half of them have gone on to get doctorates. Oh yeah, this guy is the truth, Blair. Marcy Kirkland, we're ready for you. Oh! That's us. Ooh. Ooh. Look, man, I don't know how you do it all these pregnant women. What's your name? Nurse Parker. Parker? Yes. Okay, I have one at home, and that is enough for me. It's fine, it's fine. I love my job. I love what I do. Really? So how long have you been nursing? <laughs> I mean, how long have you been doing this? It's fine. Ten years. I come from a long line of nurses, and there's nothing like That's helping awesome. people. Speaking of oh. the witch. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Hi. Uh, how are you? I'm good. I'm just fine. I'm Thank sorry, you. Babe. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, man. What's happening? The jury just got back in. I got to get to the courthouse. Okay. All right. Well, what about Dr. Wally? Whatever you decide, I'm on board with. Oh, okay. Cool? Okay. All right, yeah. I gotta go. Okay, listen. Calm down. Don't be nervous. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. You got her? I've got Get her. moving. I've got her. Go. I'm so sorry about Come him. With he me. just, you know, he's got Thank lots you. of questions. <laughs> and... Dang, don't it. Been 
this office 20 years. Can't push for pulling. <laughs> Dr. Wally. No. Don't, no, no, don't, don't move. I got this. Okay. I got this. Uh, Marty Kirkwood, right? Marcy Kirkland. Uh, okay. Okay. okay, nice to meet you. So, mm -hmm. I have um, a number of things that I wanted to talk to you about. Okay, actually, well, let's just get started, okay? Gavin asked me to lend a hand uh, building a manger for the kids' Christmas play, so mm -hmm. I'll just give him a few pointers and we can leave. Okay, honey, because we have to get to Stephanie's house. I have to help her plan this Christmas Eve menu, and if I don't get there, she will flip a table. Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah she will. Myra! <laughs> hey, how are you? Oh, my goodness. Good. good to see you. How's Atlanta treating you so far? Always good to be home, mm -hmm. especially here. Well, you know, I have to admit, I was surprised when Donald told me you had taken a position as a director of a children's home. <laughs> I mean, you, Mr. <laughs> Corporate America. Yeah, but well, that was the old me. <laughs> anyway, you hang out here long enough, and you'll find out why I couldn't resist. Anyway, Don, let me show you what we've done so far. Okay, that'll work. In fact, you any good with electrical work? Are you kidding me? I'm Mr. Electricity. That's right. All right, Mr. Electricity. But <laughs> well, follow me. I might have another job for you. All right, all right. Myra, you're welcome to come if you want. Mm, I'll wait here and answer a few emails. Well, come on, Mr. Electricity. Mr. Electricity. <laughs> electricity. I like that name. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that song? <laughs> and a one. And a two. Away in a major. OK, no. No, people, no. You got to sing louder. And with feeling. Hi, everybody. Okay, excuse me. I'm Miss Myra, and I want you to try singing from here. That's your diaphragm. And when you sing from there, it'll project more. Watch. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. How about that? No, Mr. Lester. You know I do not believe in selling my clients anything that won't work for their customer. Honesty is the best policy. <laughs> you know, I would love to talk to you more about this. When can I take you to lunch? Tonight. Okay. The Gentleman's Club. Oh, no, no, not a problem. Which one? The Foxy Lady. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you there. Okay. Great. All right, bye-bye. Elizabeth, just think of it as a makeup and shoe show. Close the deal. So isn't this place beautiful? Oh, beautiful. Let me tell you the history. Carrie Steele, and that's her picture on the wall right there, was an orphan. And she couldn't stand to see all the other orphans hanging around all day with nothing to do. So she went to her bosses at Union Station and asked them if they had a vacant boxcar. And she housed all the orphans in the boxcar during the day. And at night, what she would do is take all the orphans to her little tiny house down on Auburn Avenue. Wow. Isn't that incredible? Wow. What, what motivated Carrie Steele to do something like this, and all by herself at that? And she saw a need, and she filled it. She knew her calling in life wasn't limited to her nine to five job. You know what I mean? She had a purpose. She found it, and as you can see, she lived it. Yeah. Incredible. Come on, let me show you some more. Come on. Anyway, afterwards, when Miss Carrie's home got too small for all of the orphans, she wrote an autobiography, sold it, and she used the money to build a three-story orphanage. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. Oh, and I found the cutest little booties for little Marcy. Adorable. When I tell you she's going to be the best-dressed little baby in the ATL. Well, so what yeah. do you think? Pandora or Tiffany? For Marcy? Oh, oh my God. Well, you know I'm all about those little blue boxes. No, not for little Marcy. For my big boss, Wilhelmina. I have to get her something really special for Christmas because I want to land that promotion. Okay. Land it then. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I lost that case, Doug. I really thought I had that one in the bag, man. Preston wasn't happy either. Yeah, at least you got out of that contract with him, man. He's 
still hiring you to consult on uh, his cases while he travels the world with Charlene. Yeah, but I really need a win, man. I got a baby on the way. <laughs> yeah, get to something else, huh? Kids are wonderful, and I understand that you want to help out at Carrie Steele Pitt's home, but um, can you wait until after Christmas? No, no, honey. They need help right now. Why don't you go with us tonight? Donald's going to help Gavin, you know, work on that manger, and then I'm going to rehearse with the kids. Would you? Tonight? Really? Yes. Tonight, tonight is the Chandler Women's Challenge. Did you forget? <laughs> Here. Oh, oh got to go. Where to? I have a meeting at this, like, little place downtown. A place? Well, that sounds exciting. Quiet, Marcy. I have a meeting mm -hmm. with a very important client. And, um, yeah, I gotta go. And then I'm going to the office so I can finish up some work. Okay. Bye. Anyway, it's almost time for our meditation. We should probably go, too, Blair. Good night, Hey, 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 hey. Mm. Remember, Dr. Wally said sugar's bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's not the one who's pregnant, Marcy. <laughs> nope, she's right. Dr. Wally says when mommy's pregnant, daddy's pregnant. So, we're pregnant. We're pregnant. We're pregnant. Time for our meditation, babe. Let's go. What? I'll see you guys. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Bye, oh. guys. Yeah, we gotta go, too. Wait, Come on, Myra. Good job. So I left some more brochures in the den, so you can take a look. Love you, girl. Love you, too. Uh, I guess we'll do the challenge tomorrow night. So much for family traditions. Mr. Lester, I did. I enjoyed myself. <laughs> yeah, it's some of the best hot wings I've ever had in my life. I just left early because I had a little bit of twerk that I needed to, I mean, had a little work I needed to do here at the office. So when do you think we can meet up to discuss Tomorrow, early lunch. Okay, my treat. Hibachi. Hibachi it is. I love everything about it. Gosh. Mm -hmm. What a long night. <sighs> <laughs> I can save you a little bit of work now and a lot of disappointment later. I won. Top salesperson in the month of November. <laughs> Hey, you came close, but you know what they say, close only counts in... Wait, close never counts. Oh, yeah, goody, goody gumdrop, Sprint. I'm happy for you. I guess if I was a smoother and a suck-up like you, I'd be racking up the sales too. You know, all you care about is your commission check and a little gold star by your name. You know, you wish you were as good as me. No, I don't. I really wish that you would leave my office. Looks like you've had a rough night. I had a meeting with a client. Oh. Well, I hope you close the deal. But from the looks of things, I'm guessing not. Well, that's for me to know and for you to find out. Now, if you don't mind. Night, Lizzie. You know, I have to say, I admire your fortitude. But it doesn't matter. Because you will never be promoted over me. Please get out of my office. Thank you. Don't call me Lizzie. So, when I get back, I'd like for us to get together and sneak off <laughs> and talk. You know, I've been thinking a lot about what you said about us. You know, that's all I've been thinking about. Do you really think that you can make a commitment? I mean, really give it all up and stop traveling the world? Well, um, Just ask I know, I, I, don't, I don't know about that. It's not like I really, it's not like I really planned any of this. So it's not like I can plan to just stop it. So where does that leave us? Yeah, Stephanie, um, I, I wouldn't really expect you to understand what it's like to serve people. And no offense when I say that. Mm -hmm. But I have to, I have to make you understand what it means to me to do what I do. And trust me, there's more than enough room in my life for you and my work. And baby, I don't, I don't ever, ever want to lose you again. I promise you. I will do everything I can. I will do my part. And you must do yours. 
to make this work. I will, darling. I will. You're doing great, honey. <laughs> Not really cut off this cutting out stuff, but give me a hammer and some nails and watch me work. <laughs> <laughs> I like your hat. Well, thank you. <laughs> How about a paintbrush? Oh, just as good. Yeah. <laughs> Come, on. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I got a job for you. The rehearsals are going good, right? Mm, I guess. Our singing's better. We're singing from here now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. We just need help with our moves. Those kids dance like they have three left feet. Oh. <laughs> well, knowing my Denny, you will whip them right into shape. I know <laughs> you will. I have a granddaughter. She's about your age. Cute as a button, just like you. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Where is she? She's all the way in Haiti another country. They were supposed to come for Christmas this year, but some things came up. I used to live with my grandma, but she died last year. Oh, I'm so sorry. Every Christmas, she'd give me little kisses chocolates. You know, the ones in the little silver wrapper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are my favorite. I miss her a whole bunch. You know what? Maybe I can be your pretend grandma. Only if you want, okay? <laughs> and you know what? I think I have somebody that can help all those left-footed dancers of yours. Uh... Pretty relaxed. Yeah, for us and for little Marcy. Oh, come on. Oh. You know we still gotta come up with a name, right, honey? Well, Dr. Wally said we should probably wait until she's born. You know, see what fits with her personality. Makes Agree. sense. Yeah. Are uh, you okay? I think so. <sighs> you know what? I think we got this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, baby. I love you. I love you. <sighs> oh, my God. Blair. What? There's another one. I think, what? I think I'm having contractions. I'm not supposed to be having contractions. You think you're having a what? Do yet. Maybe she's coming early. No, first babies don't come early. They come late, not early. Call, call the, the doctor. doctor. Right. right, you call, you call the, the doctor. doctor. I'll, I'll call, call the, doctor. the doctor. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. Stop. Everybody just settle down. Ooh. Remember what Dr. Wally said. What? Takes two to be pregnant. Okay. There's no I in pregnancy, right? Right. So we're stressed. She's stressed. Right. Okay. Okay. Blair. Huh? Call the doctor. Okay. Oh God. Hi. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to reach Dr. Oh. Wally. This is Blair Kirkland. I'm having contractions. My wife. We're having contractions. How far? No, it's a mile or so. I mean, you make a left one, MLK, then it's a left or right, babe. It means the contractions. How far apart are the contractions? How should I know? Look, I think we're having this baby, so just send somebody right away. Stat! Oh, okay, babe. Okay, I said stat, so they're gonna be coming right away. Okay. We just need to sit here and wait. No, okay. no, Blair, we can't wait. It's not the old west where the doctors come and deliver the baby. We have to go to the hospital. Okay. Right, okay. Good idea. Okay. Let's go to the hospital. Hey! What? Calm down, okay? Let's just get calm. Right. Calm. Well, back. back. Ah! Oh, God! Okay, get okay. back. Okay. Marcy, oh, God. breathe. No, you breathe. Don't get quiet. Okay. I'll call the ambulance. Oh, no, we 
we're gonna drive. I'm not like you drive in this condition. I don't mean we, I mean you. Huh? Listen, it's me again. We need an ambulance here. Stat! Okay, okay babe. That's two stats. All right. Well, okay? Help me. Help me. Okay. Ow. Oh, be careful. Be careful. Oh, my God. She okay? I need some water. Water. Yes. Okay. Take this, I'm gonna make some tea. Come on. Here, hold my purse. Here. Oh, honey, you scared oh, me half to death. Mm -hmm. Myra, thanks for making the tea. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks, Myra. Mm -hmm. Thank you. How are you feeling? Would you all stop gawking at me, please? It was just, a, it was a false alarm. I'm fine. Yeah, we just had a bad case of the Braxton hiccups, but we handled it. Braxton Hicks, baby. Mm. Okay, now was anyone gonna open the door? Was I gonna stand out there all night? Marcy, are you okay? Would you relax? It was just a false labor. <sighs> but I do appreciate you running over here to check on me, Elizabeth. I, I do. Actually, I came to check on my sister. You sounded like a fool on the phone. What? Now I didn't want you to get behind the wheel sounding like that. We all know you cannot drive. We'll talk later. You know, I'm just gonna be the one to say it. None of us would be going through this, Marcy, if you would stop trying to upstage Christmas. What? I mean, every year is something. The year before last, it was the fake fiance. Then last year, you guys want to have this whirlwind wedding. And now you want to have a baby on Christmas. What woman has a baby on Christmas? Well, besides Mary. I think we should go let these two okay. get to bed. Oh, all right, then. thanks Help me up, for coming. Please. Okay, I'm just, honey. I'm talking. I'm going to talk to you a little bit. I don't want to talk. Yeah, no, she's As talked enough. Leaving, she right. has. Well, uh, wait, hold Good on, night, hold on, everybody. Hold on. Uh, honey, do you what? think that you could make those munchalicious gingerbread man for mummy this year? You're all right. I doubt it, Mom. Oh. oh. All right, then. <laughs> well, listen, Fiona, I already told you, if you give me a chance, I was going to knock Adam Reed out of the picture once and for all. That's what I like, Marcy. Girl power. I'm telling you what, if this campaign lives up to our expectations, consider your contract renewed for another year. You know what? Make that two. <laughs> what the heck? Three. Three years? Three? Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Fiona, thank you. And listen, with this baby on the way and everything, I'm... Blah, 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 baby. Ciao. The Okay, bye, girl. <sighs> yeah, girl. Did you hear that, baby girl? Mama's going to sign a three-year contract. <laughs> yes. That means I'm going to have to work extra hard, but it'll be worth it. Make sure our little princess has everything she wants, just like her mama. It was a great store, girl. It was. Yes. Steph, remember when we were kids? We were kids? At style. Yeah. At Christmas time, we got everything we wanted. Yeah, that's because Daddy worked overtime so mm -hmm. we could get all those dolls and yes. went to the Nutcracker. Yes. How about our Easy Bake Oven? Oh, and your first record player. Oh, honey, now that was it. I used to play those Jackson 5 like they were going out of style. Yes, Warp you the did. record. A, B, C. Oh. <laughs> Daddy joined the Christmas Club yeah. at the bank every year. Yeah, and Mama, S and H green stamps. Oh my God, that, we had so many yeah. stamps to make those books. Oh Did my. She God. wrap a gift or what? She was a rapper. Yeah. Do you remember there were some years where we only got one gift mm -hmm. a piece? Mm -hmm. But we loved those gifts, yes, didn't we? Did. we? Oh, absolutely. And now we buy so many gifts we can barely get them up under the Christmas tree. Steph, huh? When did enough stop being enough? Don't get it. Well, come on, sis. Elizabeth, in my office. Girl, hello. Do some work. Wi-Fi. It is to ride in a white horse open sleigh. Hey! <laughs>
<laughs> well, are you sure you don't want to come in? I really oh. want to come in. I want you to meet Denny. She's yeah. so precious, and the kids yeah. could really use some help rehearsing the play. Yes, yes, yes. I know, but honey, I promise I'll stop by. I promise. But with everything I have to do, the baking, getting the house ready, wrapping the gifts, and my baby, my grandchild is about to be born. I just can't, you know. Kid. Okay, girl. I'll see you later. Okay. Love going shopping with you. All right. Love you, too. Okay. La -dee 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 -da -da -da. Hey, Don. Hey. <laughs> that looks great, man. Thank you. It's good. <laughs> Did I mention that we're going to need a Santa Claus to go along with this house? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to need a Santa. Uh -huh. and I'm Myra. Hey. How you doing? I'm great. Denny's been asking for you. Well, where is she? There she is. Hey, <laughs> there's You know what's amazing? Girl. I haven't seen her smiling like that since I got here. Smile. You know, I could get used to you all being around. Like your jacket. It's great for the kids. That jacket. Yeah. Great for the kids. <laughs> oh, speaking of kids, I got to take these balloons. And I'll see you around. All right. Keep up the good work. You bet. What's ailing you? Morning sickness. Food craving? Swollen ankles. Ankles are a little thicker than usual. But see, Doc, with me, it's more emotional, more mental. I mean, I'm not crazy or anything like that. Okay, I understand, son. You're worried about being a good father. Yes. And you're afraid you're gonna make mistakes and screw your child's life up, right? Yes. Okay, and all your bad habits are gonna rub off on your daughter, no matter how many books you read, or how much you meditate, or how much classical music you listen to, she's still gonna turn out to be a juvenile delinquent. Right. A mass murderer. Or even worse, a pop icon that writes a New York Times best-selling tell-all <laughs> about how inept her parents yeah. were, and how you nearly ruined her life. You're good. Okay. The mistake most parents make is they don't prepare for parenthood until nine months before their parents. Oh, I like that. And the mistake many men make is they leave all the big decisions to the mother. Hmm. Now you need to be a hands-on father and make bold, decisive moves that have the women in your life feel safe. No worries, no stress. See, that's what I'm talking about right there, Doc. Make them feel safe. Mm -hmm. No worrying about work, money, or Fiona. I have no idea what Fiona is, but I hear you. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah, don't I know it. Yeah, you do know it. Okay, good. So get to it, man. Strong fathers make strong families. Okay, I'm on it, Doc. And uh, tell Marty I said hi, okay? Hi, Monique. <laughs> yes, this is Elizabeth from Solstice. How are you? Great. Listen, um, you remember that new lip pumping product I was telling you about? Y yes, the one I, I, I did say that I thought it was wrong for your customers, but you know, I think I was wrong. Yeah, it's really been selling. So why don't I put you down for an order? Yeah, I, I do honestly think it would sell. You can trust me. Of course. Perfect. Okay. You know I love you, Monique. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye. You know what? Your problem is you're just too honest. And if you're gonna win in this life, you have to do what it takes to win. No more playing games. No more being nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, excuse me. Private conversation. All right, cousin. After giving this considerable consideration, Okay. I have decided to accept the role of Santa in the Christmas pageant right. on, on one condition. And what's that? I get to design my own Santa suit. Deal. <laughs> Deal. I think. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Mm, I, I got you this. Dear God, thank you for all my friends here at my home. 
thank you for baby Jesus and thank you God for Grandma Myra. <laughs> Tell my grandma in heaven not to worry about me. Grandma Myra is doing an awesome job. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's so true. Oh. Yeah, no, my little linebacker just gave me a swift one. Marcy, I thought you were having a girl. Well, yeah, no, it is a girl, but guess what? I think girls can be linebackers, too. <laughs> Whatever. Ciao. Okay, bye now. Hey, I thought I heard you come in. How's it going? Good. How you feeling? I'm awesome. Good, I'm awesome. Good. How was your day? It was great. It was good, great. Good, good. What's this? Your favorite food. It is my favorite yeah. food. And what? What flowers? Come on, baby. Marcy, I wanted to talk to you about something. Okay, cool. All right. I want to talk to you about something also. I had the conference call with Fiona this morning. Mm -hmm. Everything went well. She's loving all the new plans. Adam Reed is out. She said if this new campaign goes over well, she's going to renew my contract for another three years. So, pretty excited about that. <laughs> Marcy, I want you to quit. Quit what? I want you to give up your agency and focus on raising our daughter. No, babe, what? Okay, just, just hear me out. So I went to go see Dr. Wally today, okay. and he was telling me all kinds of stuff about how happy wife, happy life. Strong fathers equal stronger families. And I just don't want you to stress about work. Baby, I'm Did not. you know that stress can lead to false labor? You know you had a false labor, remember? And anything you feel, the baby feels. Right? Right. Dr. White told us that. Now, if we being honest, the agency is stressful. But I can... And one expert also said that children feel more secure when one parent stays home while the other one goes to work. Sounds good to me. So I will go to work and you stay home. Marcy, no. Miss Blair, I'm not giving up my company, okay? I work too hard. You don't have to give it up. Just put it on hold until the baby gets a little older. How much older? 21. Uh-uh. You know, I wish I had known that you were this old-fashioned and, I don't know, uh, crazy? I'm not old-fashioned. And I'm not saying you can't work. Oh. Okay, look, that came out wrong. I'm oh. sorry. What I'm trying to say is I want you to be a good mom. Mm. Okay, that didn't come out right either. It's not that you can't work and be a good mom, but children need a lot of attention. Mm. And I know how you get when you work. Fiona has you all over the place, texting here, Skyping there. Child, child, you know, it's a lot. I'm trying to lighten up the load here, baby. I'm doing this for you and our daughter. I don't think so. I think you're trying to do it for you and your ego, right? Why don't you just club me over the head, tie an apron around my waist, slap a broom in my hand, stick me in the kitchen so I can cook, clean, raise your kids while you go out and kill wild game. What, you think I want our daughter to grow up seeing her mother depending on a man? Not a man, Marcy, me. What happened to you wanting our daughter to grow up and be strong and independent? What happened to him? I want that too, baby. Okay, good. Then this conversation is over. Because if Fiona offers me the contract, I'm taking it. And I suggest that if you want our daughter to be secure, you give up this idea of me giving up my career. It's not happening. Marcy. And then that was when I said, well, you know, if Fiona offers me the three-year contract, then I'm taking it. Oh, my God, Mom, I was, I was so mean. And yes. so Honey, will you tend to fly off the handle over the teeniest, tiniest handle? I do not, Mother. Teeniest, thank teeniest, you very tiniest, much. Well, You're you very do. helpful right well, now. Well, it is the truth, darling. You put your hands on your hips and do the whole thing. No one's asking you to give up your dreams, okay? But you must respect the fact that your husband's trying to protect his family. You're right. right then. I'm gonna go home and apologize to him now. Good, because he's probably sitting home miserable. Baby. Yeah, or not. Hey. Baby. Oh, Blair! I'm sorry to what drop in like this, Miss Stephanie. Baby. I'm so I'm... sorry I said all those mean things to you. You know, it's just, it's my hormones. They keep, I say anything, like it happens and I baby, cry baby. and then. And, and I'm sorry for asking you to give up your career. 
Can we go home and talk about this? We can't. I need to stay here and talk about it because if I well, leave, no, 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 no. I, I hate to situation. interrupt, but I have plans of my own. You see, okay. Larry is on his way right now from the airport Stephanie. because he. Stephanie, what are you doing? I'm all girls mariachi man because Willoughby and she just loves mariachi, and I'm thinking about I'm going to send one to her to surprise her for Christmas. No, I know no, no mariachi no, man. No, no. no, no. no. Oh, go away. Oh, oh, Wait. Don't. Guys, I have some company. I have company. You cannot just come to the house and just interrupt everything. And Marcy, I'm sorry. Okay, Steffi, I need for you to come to the children's home with me tonight. I will not accept no for an answer. They need you to help with the routine. I, I, Myra, I, Myra, I, what's wrong? Nothing, nothing. What, what, what happened? Nothing's what, happening. No, what happened? Everything's <clears throat> fine. Everything. No, wait, Donald, please. You guys, you guys, you, can't, you gotta vacate the premises. Please, Marcy, I'm so sorry. Elizabeth, I do not know a Mary. I keep banned. Please, Myra, Donald, can't you control your wife, my Stop. Blair? Please take Marcy. I, guys, I have something I have to do. Hey, tonight. Stephanie! Hey, Larry! Hey, Larry. Hi, guys. Do you have a mariachi band? What about a marching band? Oh, great. And what songs do they know? Like Christmas Eve? No. Goodies is not a Christmasy song. I was thinking more along the lines of, isn't she lovely? You know, listen, Steph, I'd really like to talk to you about something, if you don't mind. I don't mind. How's it to you, baby? Hmm. That's really good, thank you. What makes you happy makes me twice as happy. Hmm. You know, after Costa Rica, I'm going to be home for a few months. Mm -hmm. And then I'm um, off to Ghana for a few weeks. And I'd really, really like for you to come with me. Ho, ho, ho! Or, 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 ho, ho, ho. Sh should I do a hold out the third ho, or uh, do uh, three short holes? Ho, ho, ho! I, I really have to think about it. I don't want you to give me an answer right now, okay? But I do want you to think about it. Please. And while you are thinking about it, I want you to think about this. Thank you. What? What? Never mind. Thank you. Well, I was just trying to order what to expect when you're expecting. Mm-hmm. Oh! Uh, no. Yeah. What about a string quartet instead mm -hmm. of a marching band? Thank you. Thank you. This is Stephanie. We were Snapchatting with the kids at the orphanage. Who are you people? This is Christmas! Myra, baking, the peach cobbler in memory of Mother Elizabeth Marcy, the gift buying, the gift wrapping. We're Chandler women, and Chandler women do Christmas! Oh, Stephanie Kringle, will you not jump from atop the Christmas tree? I mean, we have better things to do than just sit around and bake Christmas cookies. Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. And you know what else? I have to go, because I need to find some type of band so I can get this promotion. So, I'll see you later. Have a nice Christmas. You get Stop back here. Do Bye. not leave my go. house, Elizabeth. Yeah, we need to go too. Marcy and I need to get exactly eight hours of sleep if we want to have a healthy baby. No, just a second. Just, all right, go ahead, take your devices. Bye, Mama. Good night, oh, good, good night. Thank you, Steph, Stephanie, are you okay? No, do I look okay? I am not okay at all. I mean, everyone seems to be just tossing Christmas aside. I'm the only one preserving our precious Christmas traditions. I'm disappointed in you, Myra. I mean, doesn't Christmas matter anymore? Stephanie, we care about Christmas probably more than we ever have before. She's right. Good night, honey. Good morning, my queen. Come, let me show you something. According to Dr. Wallace's guide to birthing a healthy baby, we should have eaten stuff like this a long time ago. Really? 
Yeah, but don't worry, it's never too late to start. We'd be more prepared next time. Next time? Yes. Dr. Wally said children who have siblings or sibling-like bonds lead more productive lives. So no bacon and eggs? No. Oh, no, I almost forgot. Buenos dias, Karina. Who the heck is Karina? Never mind that. But I read somewhere that if you speak another language to your child, she's more open and diverse to different cultures. You know, Blair, do you not think that we're going a little overboard with all this stuff? You know, the more I read, the more I get it. Bringing people don't happen by accident. It takes a lot of hard work to make a smart baby. And it starts with two happy and healthy parents. So with that being said, if you want to keep your agency, do it. Do what makes you happy. Now I'm going to go for a run. I'll get back. I'll rub your feet before I go to the office. I have that big trial today. We're praying for a big settlement, right? Yes, we are. All right, so enjoy. Everything is gluten-free. Oh, okay, gluten-free. Yep. I love you. I'll see you in a minute. I love you, too. I'm going to do what makes me happy. Make me some bacon and eggs. Good job on getting that new order out. How did you finally get Monique to change your mind? Well, you know, I just worked some magic, told her what she wanted to hear, and voila! Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh! Oh. Is you trying to kill me? Don't roll your ass, girl. Oh. So like I was saying, she ordered lots of new products. Mm -hmm. That's my girl. You keep working like that and that manager position is as good as yours. I'm just curious, how many women have been promoted to regional sales manager? Well, let me see. Uh, what do you know? You'd be the first. If you were to be so lucky. I, I love blazing a trail. <laughs> oh, good. Well, blaze a trail back to your office and get me some more sales. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> Coffee! Yes, Brent. Look at you. Busy little B. All fired up after finally closing that big sale, huh? You know, can I help you? Or are you just standing there hoping that some of this Elizabeth Tony bling would add to that blah? Well, I actually, I was going to ask you how you finally closed that deal, but... Yeah. You know, it's not any of your business, but I did what any good salesperson would do. Oh, you lied. I did not lie. I simply told my client how she could increase her sales if she were to broaden her scope and not underestimate her customer. I also told her that if she thought outside of the box like a savvy businesswoman, then that's how you win. And she placed a big order for the new product. Thank oh, you. Oh, so you lied and you smooth talked her. <laughs> you really do want to be me, don't you? You are not the only quick thinking, fast talking salesperson there is here. No, but I am the best. I gotta give you credit though, you want to come up. Word of advice, decide now how far you're willing to go because once you get there, there's no turning back. No, whatever that means. You know, now you're just playing mind games. Did he take my pen? It's a weirdo. Hello? No, I can't. No, I can hear you. Hey, Steph. Larry. Hey. It's me. Larry. Steph. Larry. Come on. This thing isn't working. Oh, what? Uh. <laughs> it's almost Christmas, Denny. Are you excited? Not really. We don't get a whole lot for Christmas around here. Really? Well, if you could have whatever you wanted, what would that be? Honestly? Honestly. <laughs> I'd wish for just one more kisses chocolate with my grandma. And a whole bunch of grandmas like you for the rest of my friends. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, maybe you could be their grandma too until I find some of their own. <laughs> How about tag team grandmas? Oh my god. Oh, Daffy. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you're here. Denny? Yes. Oh, so <laughs> Thank you. Now, that was a great first run. The whole diaphragm piece was working. I know my sister, Grandmama Myra, has been working with you on the song, but I am the real singer of the family. I just want to let you all know I am. 
I just didn't know I needed to use that specific diagram, but I'm on it. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Let's just have it ready for tomorrow. Thank you. You look great, by the way. All right, baby. Ciao. Ciao. Tell you, everyone is all over this lip plumping. Uh, can can I call you right back? Okay. What is this? Miss Eve. Well, <laughs> you see, my family and I, we usually, we usually, I will be here, honey, don't you worry about it. I wouldn't miss it for all the toys in Santa's workshop, okay? <laughs> Let me help you. I want you to spend Christmas Eve with us. You said we're like family. Don't families spend holidays together? Yes. Yes, they do, Denny. And you know what? <laughs> well, I guess we better clean up some of the stuff before, you know. Whoa! What do we have here? Oh my gosh. Come mm. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> shall we? We shall. <laughs> Mmm. Ready? Mm, <laughs> so good. So <laughs> yummy. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. Mm. <laughs> Honey, Stephanie is going to flip when I tell her that we can't be with her and the rest of the family for Christmas Eve. But how could I say no? You couldn't. Ah, <laughs> oh, this stuff is just so beautiful. So beautiful here. This is nice. It, um, again. I want to thank you for being a part of the pageant and deciding to help out. It's my pleasure, absolutely. And Myra and Donald will be thrilled. Oh, Myra and Donald, <laughs> oh no, 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 they can't know. Oh see, if they find out mm -hmm. that I am not hosting Christmas Eve dinner, they will have a fit. And Myra will flip a table. That's just a little <laughs> saying we say in the family, you know, no, I have to figure listen, out a listen. way to break the news to them. I'm sure you'll think of something. Yes, I will. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. you. Take care. I'll see you later. Hey, hey. buddy. What are you doing? Hey, you too, baby. Hey, 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 All right. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I had so much fun with those kids. <gasps> those kids are amazing. Yes, yes, indeed. Go. So are you nervous about having a baby? I know I would be. I mean, ew. Well, no, actually, I'm, you know, sometimes I wish I had made time for a family. Not. <laughs> I mean, they're such a huge time suck, those babies. Feed me, clothe me, love me, teach me. Oh, God, they're just so needy. Well, I mean, I mean we've all been there. Yeah. You know what? If I had had a good mom, we never would have built Friendly Family Floral into the empire that it is today. Thank God she wasn't a good mom. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking. Why don't we have flowers that are just like cascading down from the ceiling? 
Marcy, what you got going? A little kale salad. Nice. Mm -hmm. Dr. Wally says that is so good for the baby. I'm giving up my agency. Really? Well, not giving up as in totally quitting. Giving up. But you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break. You know, focus on our new life together. Look at my little Marcy. All growed up. Don't start. <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> you look good wearing it, though, girl. So what does Fiona say? Well, I haven't exactly told her yet. Wow. Well, that is a phone call that I would love to hear. You can do it. Hi, Marcy Kirkland for Fiona Friendly, please. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Fiona, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Good, good. I love them too. Absolutely. Uh, so listen, there's something I, I just wanted to discuss with you briefly. Uh, remember you were <laughs> telling me that story about your mother and, you know, all that business? <laughs> yeah, well, that kind of got me to thinking. And so, technically, that, that would make this your idea. Well, anyway. I just need to let you know that I, I'm going to take a break from the agency for a few weeks, months. Yeah. For my daughter. Yeah. Okay. All right. I totally understand. No problem. Okay. I, I, I get it. Thank you. Okay, bye now. Okay, so what did she say? <sighs> Turns out a baby was never in her plan in the first place. It was only a matter of time before I went soft, so she always had Adam on standby. Wow, that woman is evil. Bye bye, three year contract. I am so sorry, baby. No, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, you know what? I'm 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 done. <sighs> Nobody else telling me what to do with my life, especially when it comes to my family. Okay? okay. No okay. more Fiona Friendly. No more Dr. Wally telling me what I can and can't do. Right. Okay. Right. Who's raising this baby anyway? Them or us? Us. That's right. And at some point, we have to start making our own decisions anyway, right? Right. I'm with you, but maybe we should check with Dr. Wally just to make sure that we're making the right decisions. Maybe. All yeah. right. I got some more wrapping paper. Oh, God. Why are we whispering? Because Donald could show up any moment now, and he still doesn't know that I've spent all this money oh on these God. gifts. Kids are going to be so excited to see yeah. all this stuff. Am yeah, I wrong? They will. It's so cute. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> oh, oh. Myra, have you been shopping here, man? Baby, we've talked about this. We have to make our money last and save, save, save. Stephanie bought them. You all go overboard every Christmas. I bet there's four or five hundred dollars worth of stuff here. And I've got a sneaking suspicion there's more where that came from. Oh, oh. This is it. Yeah. This is it. Well, except for those oh, in the closet right there. Those and those over there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Don, you need to know these gifts are not for us. They're for the children at the home. And, and, and I'm not going to apologize for buying all this stuff, but those beautiful babies who have no one or nothing, and that's mm -hmm. that. Me neither. So, go ahead. Say what you got to say. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Now, we really need to beef up sales on this new lipstick line. I need you to, you know, work your magic on some of your clients. Right. That, that's what I'm going to talk to you about, the magic. Um, you know, Monique, she's my top retailer, and she really has me in the doghouse. But she thinks I swindled her into buying the Kylie J lip plumper. And 
Did you put a gun to her I, head? I, I did not. No. She made a decision, you made a commission. I did. Now, if you want to make regional sales manager. I do. You need to get to selling some lipstick. That's all I know. Sorry about that. Little 12 year old thought to this dress. Okay, so we're just gonna tell them the truth, right? Mm -hmm. That's some of the stuff that's just. A little crazy. Right? And mm -hmm. that we wanna just. Do what we think is best for our child. Got it. Okay. Marcy Kirkland. That's us. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just, I was excited about the plan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's, yeah. Good luck, girl. I'm sorry, baby. I'm good. How are you? Good. How are you? And it's not that we don't think you're brilliant, Dr. Oh, no, Marley. no, no. We admire your work immensely. It's just all that stuff. It, it just kind of had us more stress than we already were. And with all due respect. We just don't think it's working for us. Yeah, because we're just as scared, worried, and nervous as ever. Mm -hmm. And we still don't have any clue what to do. And we still don't know what our daughter's going to turn out like, so... <laughs> You're laughing. Why are you laughing? <laughs> you two are going to make wonderful parents. We, we are? are? Absolutely. The trouble that most parents have is admitting that they don't know everything. There's no tricks, there's no potions, there's no magic bullet. Except love. And from what I see, it looks like the two of you have plenty to go around. Yeah. So why you tell us all that crazy stuff? I gave you what you were asking for. Answers. Or what you believe to be answers. And now that you've discovered there aren't any, you can focus on what's really important. Being a family and raising your child the best you can. Did I not tell you he was brilliant? <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. So I'll see the two of you, um, excuse me, the three of you on Christmas Day. Well, or somewhere thereabouts. First babies are always late. Right. Okay. <laughs> Shall we go? Thank you, Dr. Okay. Wally. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Wally. Okay. Okay. Appreciate you. All right. Brilliant, brilliant, Great. man. Yep. Yeah. Pull. Pull. That's great, that's oh. great. <laughs> so, are you ready for your big day? Oh my goodness, I haven't been this nervous since I played one of the three wise men in first grade. <laughs> oh, we had a very small male population. I see. <laughs> you know, Stephanie, um, oh, thank you. I just want to tell you, I'm really, really glad that you decided to get involved. It's been a blessing for these kids. You know? Oh, and a blessing for me, too. I mean, had I known what I was missing, I would have come a lot sooner. But I can see why you were reluctant. Well, I wasn't reluctant. I was oh, just a little. A little reluctant. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> you know, for me, I, um, I had a nice, big corporate job in D.C. before I took this position. Oh. Making six figures. What? Living a great life. But you know, something was just tugging at my heart. I tried to ignore it for a while, but it wouldn't go away. Mm -hmm. uh, would that little voice have been by any chance Myra Brooks? Because she doesn't quit. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Actually, her name was Big Mama. Oh. At least that's what I called her. My grandmother. Oh. Yeah. And she gave her life helping others. And she mm -hmm. taught us to do the same thing. And somehow along the way, I lost sight of that. So one day I woke up and I just gave it all up. Wow. And you know something, Stephanie? Hmm. I didn't lose a thing. And what I got in return was working with these wonderful kids, being a part of this wonderful environment. You know, you sound like someone else I know. But you know what I've learned through this process? Hmm. The more you give. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I'm sorry. It's OK. This is the thing about my grandmother. The more you give, the more you have to give. And understand the true meaning of giving. Yeah. Yeah. Spoken like a true wise man. <laughs> <laughs> oh All right, goodness. who's ready for rehearsal? Oh my goodness. Yay. All right, let's go. So, the big night's almost here. I've been working on some new dance moves. You want to see them? Yeah. Oh, okay. We gotta do this quick so we can get to the home. Hey! 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 Go on in there and help yourself to everything. Yep. I'm pretty sure that your client has to buy it. 
Oh, well, Anna, how about I do this? I'll call you after Christmas, okay? And we'll chat. Okay, bye bye. Get in there now. Come on now. Well, let's bring the desserts into the front room. No, okay. And, and you're good. Nice. Yeah, we're good. Thank oh, you. Dinner was delicious as usual, Stephanie. Thank you. I don't think it was any of your best work, but I'm not complaining. I saved up room for the party tonight. At least I cooked, Elizabeth. You, on the other hand, have done absolutely nothing for Christmas. Stephanie, I have been busy. I've been trying Promotion, to... Promotion, yes. I can't believe you're going to a party tonight, Elizabeth. It's Christmas Eve. This is a time we typically spend with family together. Marcy, shouldn't you be focused on birthing a baby today? Uh, uh, well, first of all, that would be tomorrow. Yeah, yeah first babies always come late, but can't you... You stay out of it. Hello? Oh, I'm, I'm so sleepy. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's come over me. Uh, really? Uh, Oh, I'm a little sleepy too. Oh, yeah, let's just pack it in, what? call it an early night. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. Well, gotta go. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, bye. Really you know, weird. we're gonna poop them up and see all the breakfast in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I thought Mother, we I thought we were going to sleep. You know, what, what are we all sitting here? Let's go. Where are let's we go. going? Honey, you'll see. Oh, let's my God, go. Mother, you are making me hot. Okay, wait. Whoa. Oh, yeah. okay. Let's right go. Right behind you. Right, right. Ah. The most. Well, Mom, why didn't you tell us about this place? Well, I have time to chit chat. I have a pageant to put on. What are you? What? I'm sworn to secrecy twice. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I thought that you'd be upset if I didn't host the annual Christmas Eve dinner at the house. So I, you know, what are you doing here? Same girl. <laughs> okay, let's do this pageant. Come on, girl. Oh, <laughs> Wait, wait up for me, I want to oh, help. Oh, have we got the perfect job for you. Come <laughs> around, March. <laughs> hey, we got him. <laughs> okay, now while we're waiting for the actors and the dancers and the singers to warm up, I've got a special treat for everybody. Everybody ready? Yeah! Come on, that was a little weak. I'm gonna try it again. Are you ready? Yeah! That's more like it, that's more like it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together all the way from the North Pole. Put your hands together for Santa Claus! Ho, ho, ho. Yeah! Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! I have brought toys for everybody, but I'm gonna need a little help handing them out, so I brought along my trusty elf. My trusty elf. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Did you get the reindeer part? Ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry, mer Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Now that we've had fun, now we want to learn about the true meaning of Christmas. Many, many years ago, an angel came to visit the Virgin Mary. And she told the Virgin Mary that she would give birth to a son. Elizabeth. And that what, her what she and Joseph traveled to a work. city I'm far I'm away from Bethlehem. And the Virgin Mary gave birth to baby oh Jesus God. in a manger. And they wrapped the baby yeah. Swapping clothes. Okay. And the three wise men came to visit, bearing gifts for the future king. Hello? Yeah, look, Elizabeth, it's really not a good time. Do not disconnect. I repeat, Marcy, do not hang up that phone. Where's your mother? I need her help. Well, I think Wilhelmina is about to offer me this promotion, and, and I don't know if I want it. Okay, well, that sounds like a personal problem. Marcy, Leanne, Jewel, Chandler, Kirkland, let me tell you something. Do not hang up this phone on me. Do you remember the guy Brent Hackman that I was talking about? Well, he told me something a while ago, and it's just now making sense to me. He said, you know, you have to decide how far you're willing to go, because once you've gone so far, there's no turning back. Was he talking about your makeup? Because sometimes you do go a little far with all that eyeliner. Marcy, I'm being serious. I don't want to go too far, Marcy. I, I don't want to lie and cheat people, and I, and I don't want to be all about the money and, and winning and selling lipstick. And I don't 
want to be away from my family on Christmas Eve. Oh my God. I know exactly what you're talking about because I don't want it to be all about the money either. You know, I just want to be a good mommy to little Marcy. Marcy, we're talking about me. Well, I just thought you should know because I had to put my agency on hold so that I could- Marcy, now I'm not cut out to be cutthroat. Well, I am, but I just don't want to be. That's not how channel women roll. All right, well, then you do what you have to do and get yourself down here to the orphanage with the rest of the family. I'll text you the address. Great Aunt Malona always said to count your... There she is, just in time, Elizabeth. I was about to announce my new regional sales manager. Um, before you do that, I, I just would like to say I want to take myself out of the running. Uh, you know, growing up, we didn't have a lot. But I remember my parents working very hard to make sure we have food on our table and we had everything we needed and everything we wanted, pretty much. And they didn't rob. They didn't cheat anyone and they didn't steal from anyone to have those things. And neither will I. Well, Amina, as much as I would love to be the regional sales manager for Solstice, I just, I know what that means. And I know what it would take for me to be successful at that. And I know once you've gone so far, there's no turning back. Okay, I don't know what the hell you just said, but it's too bad because you were going to be my first female regional sales manager. But since you've taken yourself out of the running, the new regional sales manager is Brent Hackman. Today, many centuries later, we still celebrate his birth on Christmas Day. In honor of him, we give and receive gifts. But the greatest gift of all is the one that he gave to us, love. Aww. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I'm really glad I came. <laughs> you know, Elizabeth, I know you just blew the opportunity of a lifetime and walked away from a position that you literally busted your butt to get just as you had it in the palm of your <sighs> hands. Marcy, that's not helping. What I'm trying to say is, you know, you gave all that up for something that you thought was right. And I, I know how that feels. And um, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Who was that? Who's that? It's no one. Oh. You know, I never told you this before, and if you tell anybody, well, it doesn't matter, I'll just deny it. <laughs> deny, deny, deny. <laughs> I won't tell anyone. You know, you are one of the smartest, savviest women I know. Go on. You don't need a boss. You are a boss. Marcy, are you saying that maybe I should consider starting my own cosmetic company? Well, I'm saying that you should consider starting your own whatever company. I mean, you're classy. You know tons of people. You're super organized. You can do anything. Mm. You know, that, that's true. I, I always enjoy planning events like big, extravagant galas with, for the rich people. And, and mm -hmm. yeah. Or a fundraiser for a place like this. You're right. Mm -hmm. I plan it with a purpose. I like it. I love everything about it. Okay, so let's just say that this was something that I were to do. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm not saying that I would do it for sure, but but if I did, would Wait you? Wait a minute. Are you asking me to help you? No, I'm not asking oh. you to help. Because I was thinking more like partners. I guess we can have time. What? I literally just lost the biggest client of my career. I have nothing but time. Yes. Oh, Let's go tell mom and Aunt Myra. Could you do me a favor? Could you tell them by yourself because I have to. Oh. Okay, we can go and tell them together, but we have to make it snappy. Whoa. No. Marcy. Elizabeth. What? There's a contraction. I think the baby's coming. No. Marcy? No, 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 no. Not right now. Today? Of all days? Tomorrow's my due date. But you said the first time babies are always late. Elizabeth. Mercy. Oh my God. I can't believe. You know what? You always have to upstage me all the time. Why can't you just wait and hold on just a little while longer? Are you sure it's not false labor? Oh my God. Like Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Wait. Stop it. Oh my God. Blair, mom, now. Okay. Okay. Oh because we're having a baby. Now. We're having a baby. Okay. Oh, Stephanie. It's okay. What are you doing here? Well, I don't mean to intrude. You're fine. I just wanted to tell you that what you did tonight, I wish I had the courage to do that. I know you wish you could be as good as I am. Actually, Elizabeth, don't do it. You can call me Lizzie. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, let me introduce you to my family. We had a baby. We had a baby! Me to bring this to you, Mrs. Oh, Kirkland. Wonderful, thank you. Oh, He's nice. nice guy. The perfect gift for the perfect mom. Oh, well, it's, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really love this stuff. It smells so yummy. Marcy, when do you think you can blow this joint so we can discuss our business venture? Elizabeth, talk about this. Lawrence. Uh here. I got a colleague of mine to cover for a few days. <laughs> I never realized how hard it is to be away from the person you love on Christmas Day. Oh, I've been thinking about your offer. Mm -hmm. Offer? Um, we'll talk about that later. And? Huh? <laughs> what? Can, can, we, can we talk about the elf in the room? Yeah. What is that? What is that? <laughs> What's going on? Everyone, <clears throat> to the true meaning of Christmas. And to new traditions. And to the newest member of the family, Miss Chandler Jewel Kirkland. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. 
and a happy new year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy new year.